Hello, today we're going to talk about scouts, how to play smart, and how to be as useful to your team as possible. Now we're going to break this down into three main parts, which is going to be the role of scouts in a team, the role of scouts in Ubers, and the role of scouts in getting kills. Now again, like my other guides, this video assumes that you know the absolute basics of scout, and we're going to be talking about some more advanced concepts in order to tie into a mega video at the end of this series. Alright, let's talk about the role of the scout in a basic team. This mostly applies to pubs and Highlander because Sixes is played slightly differently, but concepts still apply. Your ability to aim is a lot more important than some other classes like Engineer or Pyro, but that does not make or break a good player. As a scout, you have the ability to dish out a large amount of damage very quickly, and have the mobility to navigate terrain easier than most other classes. What this means is that you're suited for watching certain key areas and rotating quickly to where your team needs you to be. Now for example, you can change your role from pushing cart one second to taking an uber and wiping their team right after just very quickly because you're able to navigate with ease. Now this type of role adaptation is very important to being a good scout as you're quite often required to pick up the slack for some classes that lack in mobility. Now let's talk about the two distinct groups in Highlander that make up a team, which are the combo and the flank. Now your flank is exactly what it sounds like, it's your team's classes that are tasked with guarding your flank and creating openings on the other team. Now the base of your flank starts with the scout and the soldier and may include other classes like pyro or engineer depending on your team or on the map, but for the sake of this video we will assume that the flank is scout and soldier. A lot of teams have trouble with players getting behind, causing distractions, and picking off players and whatnot. This is where your responsibility comes in, and it's important as a flank player to stop these players from messing with your team and being like a brick wall that they can't pass. Now just some common advice here, you can be a very effective flank player without getting any kills at all as long as the other team doesn't get past you. It's fairly effective to simply chip down at enemies and annoy them so they don't attempt to get past you. And if they do, they'll do it with low HP and die fairly easily. Now as a soldier main myself, the most annoying thing that other players can do to me is just chip me off so that I never have the good opportunity to initiate on their team. Like I won't try to bomb their medic if I'm at 100 health after being chipped by their scout for 5 minutes, so it really forces me to reconsider my strategies. Now, let's talk about how the scout has to manage multiple roles, especially the role of cleaning up damage from your team in uber fights. In Highlander, by far the most effective uber is the scout demo uber. This is simply an uber where you, as a scout, run an uber alongside the demo and clean up on his massive damage by being able to chase. These ubers are extremely effective at medium range, which is where most encounters happen against good team. Now as a side note, you have to use some common sense here. If you catch the other team with their pants down at close range, obviously a heavy uber is going to be more effective, but most teams will play smart and not set themselves up for getting destroyed by a heavy uber, so don't always rely on that happening. Now this ties into the next point, which is by far the most important one. As a scout, your life is NOT disposable. I see many players using their ability to aim as an excuse for playing like idiots. Now your job as a scout isn't to take on risky 1v1s and try to get a kill or two, but it's to play off your team's damage and finish off easy kills with a low risk so that you're able to stay alive and keep up the pressure. Now for example, when I play scout, I like to approach situations with a very simple thinking. Now I'm about to enter an area or take a fight, it's a very good idea to simply gauge the risk of what you're about to do. In general, if you're not 90% sure of succeeding the play you're about to do, don't do it. For example, assuming equal skill level, taking on a 1v1 fight with a soldier or another fully healed scout is a fairly risky one and I would not advise it. But taking on a 50 HP soldier would be a much better idea, or taking 2v1 fights with your soldier buddy often tends to turn the odd greatly in your favor. Now other factors that influence the odds include height advantage, lower skilled opponents, or the need to kill a medic, and many others. Now your ability to make decisions will become better as you're exposed to these situations. Now let's address the dynamic between flank and combo and rotating to get heals. A scout buff to 185 is very scary because it's usually possible to tank a large hit that would normally kill you and meat shot whatever you're targeting. This means that whenever you have crit heals, you should go to your medic for a buff. It just takes a quick second and could turn the tide of a fight. If you don't know what crit heals are, just refer to my counting ubers video. Now at the same time, you don't want to be hogging your medic for heals when another class could be using them more. Since you're fairly mobile, it's often better to just go get a health pack so that your medic has time to heal and buff other classes, and by the time you return, you should be close to crit heals. Now, let's talk about certain timings and common misplays I see from scouts on teams that I review. Now, the number one mistake that I see is scouts being too confident or not attaching any importance to their life. For example, I see a lot of scouts chasing kills or simply attempting to fight enemies for no particular reason, especially after capping a point when your team should be regrouping. This leads to the other team always having a plus one advantage in terms of numbers on you. If your scout always runs into dying mindlessly, you will always be fighting 8v9. I even see people like this at a platinum level, so it's a lot more common than you think. Now people in my last videos wanted me to give a more personal opinion on what makes a good player, so I will. I have played many seasons on one of the best teams in Platinum Highlander, and played against scouts like Enigma, Deadbolt, and Ruin, and what made them particularly good wasn't only their aim. 
There have been plenty of Highlander scouts with godlike aim, but very poor game sense and decision making, which puts them below the pack. A very difficult scout for me to play against was one that could pressure flanks very safely, chip chipping away at damage, and then going in at the right moment to play off a distraction. And of course, never dying so you never had the opportunity to exploit their open flank. Now playing like this isn't particularly hard even if you have mediocre aim, it just requires smart thinking and listening to team comms, which is something that a lot of players overlook. Again, I urge all scout players who are dying to simply look back on each death and think, why did I die? 90% of the time it's because of an overextension or chasing a stupid kill. Trust me, you don't even think about it, but that's what it is. Now, I believe we've covered the basics of smart playing a scout. As usual, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, and I've been really happy with the reception so far again. If you did enjoy, I always appreciate a like, and I'm planning on doing a guide for each class to eventually build up to a mega video on team dynamics in the end. And for those who still need help, I'm reviewing player demos on stream whenever on the weekend or whatever, so just feel free to drop by when I'm streaming. And uh, thanks for watching guys, I'll see you guys next time.